Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, bum, 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 la, la, la. Say, Gertrude, isn't that ice cream finished yet? What'd you say, Mrs. Norton? I said, isn't that ice cream finished yet? Nope. How can you tell without even opening up the freezer to but look? The way it turns. Oh, listen, let me do it for you a little. Your arm must be dead. Are you crazy, Mrs. Norton? You just get away from here. You want something to happen before it should? I'd only be moving my arm. Not while I'm here in charge of you. You don't move no arm. You just wait until your husband and your mother get back from New York, and then you can move all the arms you want, providing the safe. Oh, for heaven's sakes, you think nobody ever had a baby before. What did women in the covered wagon days do? They didn't freeze ice cream. What time do you reckon your mom and husband will be back? What time do you reckon the ice cream will be hard? Any minute now. Well, I guess they'll be back any minute, too. What time is it? According to the clock in the icebox, which ain't right, it's 20 past six. Is it that late? Later. Oh, dear, then they should be back. Now, don't start worrying. That ain't good for the baby, neither. But when you stop to think that the only two people I have in the world are riding along in an automobile at the mercy of any hoodlum driver... Mm, It is sort of like putting all your eggs in one basket. Except you'd have the baby. Oh, Gertrude, don't be so literal. You make my blood run cold. I ain't saying anything's going to happen to your ma and husband's sakes. I wouldn't be slaving over this ice cream, would I, if I thought the would? Gertrude, you are marvelous. Yes, I'd say you was lucky to have me. I am. My dead husband used to say, taint anything Gertrude can't put her hand to if she's a mind to. You certainly had a mind to fix up that old freezer. Why not? These is better than the new ones any day. Gertrude, do you think it's cheaper to make ice cream than buy it? Count it up. Six eggs, quarter milk, quarter milk, quarter cream, quarter strawberry, And the rock salt. And the ice. No, it ain't cheaper, but it's long sight better. Shh. Ain't that a car coming in? No wonder the dog barks. They're home. Don't rush so you'll break your neck. Land sake, you only seen them this morning. Seems like years. David. Oh, no. Take your time. Hey, down, Bluff. Get out. Here, Tommy, stay there. Get out. Oh, Bluff, don't throw me over. Hey, Bluff, here, Bluff. What's in that big box? None of your business. Hello, darling. Hello, you're late. I was worried to death. We're not late. We're exactly on time. How have you been? Fine, fine, fine. Here, sit down a minute in the terrace and rest yourselves. Do I have to? I'm not tired. Oh, get tired. Ah, gosh, smell that air. Mother, isn't it something after the hot city? Bluff, you old hypocrite. You don't like me that much. Yes, yes, yeah, it's bluff. wonderful here. What did you do all day? Did you see Aunt Louisa, Mama? David, how was the office? What's in that box? She just means what's in the box. Nothing for you, so calm yourself. Something for the baby? Not even. Well, that's a nerve. All right, all right, I'll open it. I know you two women are dying of curiosity. Dying? What did you do with yourself all day? Well, Gertrude found an old ice cream freezer down in the cellar from the year one. No. Oh. She's made ice cream. I said, what did you do? I watched her. Got in her hair, generally. I'll bet. David, what is that? Well, what does it look like? Looks like a box of cigars and a bottle of champagne. No wonder it made an intriguing-looking bundle. Ah, it is intriguing. The finest cigars and the best bottle of champagne you ever tasted. How do you know till you open it? Well, look at the label. Can't go by labels. Hey. Will you two women stop looking a gift horse in the face? What horse was the gift from? Tom Colligan. <laughs> Who's he? One of our contractors. The cigars are for me, and the champagne is for the little lady. Only the little lady doesn't give a hoot for champagne. I'd just as leave have a nice cold bottle of Coca-Cola or something. What kind of a creature did you raise, Mother? Just a simple country lass. <laughs> I've known uh, simple country lasses not to be so simple. I'm just curious. Oh, here's Gertrude. I guess supper's ready. Hello, Gertrude. How did that daughter of mine behave while we were away? I had my hands full with her. Wanted to churn ice cream, she did. Worst thing to do now. It certainly is. Where'd you get the ambition to make homemade ice cream, Gertrude? It's quite a job. Oh, I found all the fixings in the cellar, even a bag of old rock salt. Find an old quart of sweet cream, too, in the cellar, left over from a little old last year's cow, Gertrude. <laughs> oh, you're the limit, Mr. Norton. <laughs> 
truth to tell, it's pretty expensive making homemade ice cream at home. Never knew there was any other place you could make it. Uh, Gertrude, can I borrow some of your cracked ice? Hmm? I, I, I want to chill this champagne for supper. Oh, you don't need no champagne with homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream is enough of a celebration for one night. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, Gertrude. We are going to drink the champagne in honor of your... Ice cream. Oh, that's different. And we'll all finish up with a nice black cigar. You crazy folks. That's <laughs> all I can say. Yeah. Well, I'll get supper on. We're only having hash. I reckon we could economize on the rest of the meal, considering the end of it was so fancy. I wonder if Gertrude knows that I'd rather have a good apple pie than a dish of ice cream. No, and I didn't have the courage to tell her what she began. I don't blame you. She's put her whole soul into that old freezer. It's sort of sad the way it takes so little to make some people so happy. That ice cream has really been a big event in Gertrude's life. So you just tell her it's wonderful, Gertrude. I'll make no promises. It'll have to be pretty darn good, though, Oh, dear, I can see it coming. He's going to break Gertrude's heart. I'll praise her hash, but not her ice cream. But she doesn't want her hash praised. She isn't proud of her hash. (sighs) Well, well, well. Gertrude, that was delicious hash. Shucks. Those was nothing but a few little chicken croquettes made out of yesterday's roast of eel. I think I'll have some no, more. No, sir, you ain't going to get all full up before the ice cream. Oh. Better fill your glasses up again with champagne, because I'm bringing it in this minute. All right. Uh, pass your glass, Mother. Not much, David. You'll take what you get and like it. Claudia, your glass. It's not bad. Listen to her, Mother. It's not bad. I'd still rather have Coca-Cola. This will do in a pinch. Uh-huh. Well, here we are. Don't that look good enough to eat? It ain't too hard, it ain't too soft. Oh, Gertrude, what a huge portions, but it does look wonderful. Oh, it does, Gertrude. That's the most wonderful pink. Should be, with fresh strawberries. But handsome is as handsome does, as my late husband used to say. Dig in, Mr. Norton. Tell me how it tastes. Well, look, it's an awful lot of ice cream, Gertrude. I... I can never eat that much. Sure you can, a big six-foot man. My late husband could polish off twice that much without batting an eyelash. Maybe that's why he's late. Mama, that's not nice. Go on, Mr. Norton, taste. See if it ain't different from what you buy. Well, here goes. Well? Mm, Yes, it is different from what you buy. I never tasted ice cream like this before, Gertrude. Go on, Claudia. Go on, Mother. You dig in. I am. I, I can't wait. I... Mama, what do you say? Why, it's as, as smooth and velvety. Well, you folks certainly are appreciative. To look at your faces, you'd think you'd never ate ice cream before. Uh, Gertrude, have uh, have you tasted this yet? Me? Shucks, I never touched the stuff. It's all I can do to taste it before it goes in the freezer to see if it's sweet enough. Is it sweet enough? Oh, oh, yes, yes, it's very sweet, very, very... Too sweet? Oh, no, not too sweet. Uh, Gertrude, why don't you make an exception, just this once, and treat yourself to a dish of ice cream? Go ahead. Give me a good piece of pie any day, no ice cream for me, fattening. Well, I'll go get the coffee, one small, too big. David, is your ice cream salty? I thought I got a spoonful of the Atlantic Ocean. So did I. (laughs) It's an old freezer. The salt must have leaked through. (gasps) How can we tell her? No, we can't. Isn't he sweet, Mama? His bark's worse than his bite. He might be sweet, but the ice cream isn't. (laughs) We can't manage to swallow these huge plates, for we'll all be sick as dogs. Sick as dogs? Bark worse than bite? Mrs. Brown, you are a genius. And so is that aforementioned daughter of yours. Where is Blanche? Sitting right outside the window with his mouth watering, waiting for something to happen. Consider that it's happened, Blanche. Here, old boy, come in, come in. Come on, old boy. How'd you like some ice cream, Bluff? <laughs> Shh, not so loud. Just say yes or no, but quietly. Here you are, my lad. It's not sanitary. He has his own dish. This is an emergency. Presto. One gone. I always knew a great day to come in handy. His tongue is a yard long. David, he hasn't finished yet. Oh, I'm an artist. 
If he licks the plate clean, Gertrude will know there's something phony about it. Darling, you're wonderful. Oh, here, Bluff, my neck. That's manners for you. If I'm left with my plate full before Gertrude gets back. Ah, you'll have to eat it. But we can't hurt Gertrude's feelings, But Mom. you don't care Mom, what you do to your poor mother-in-law's stomach. Hurry up, Bluff, hurry up. There's a nice doggy. Come on, Bluff. Come on, That's Bluff. enough. Not too clean, please. Come on, Bluff, finish it. I don't think we'd better let him eat Mother's potion. It might make him sick. Don't pay any attention to him, Bluff. It's just a drop in the bucket as far as you're concerned, isn't it? There, yeah, nice Bluff. Nice ice cream there. Quick, Gertrude's coming. Uh, take up the plate, Mother. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He won't give it to well, me. Well, just grab it, grab it. Wipe your face, Bluff. Uh, that was the finest dinner I've had in years. <laughs> Some more champagne, my love? Yes, yes. Ah, here's Gertrude. Gertrude, can't we coax you to join us in a... Final glass of champagne? Don't mind if I do have a little drink. I, I sure need it. Uh, what's wrong, Gertrude? You're quite pale. Yes, what's the matter? Your ice cream. You edit? it? Well, why shouldn't we edit? it? It was delicious. De- delicious? But it was salty. The dratted freezer must have leaked. How do you know? Looked so good, I decided to taste some when I went back to the coffee. It was salty as all get out. It was. Ours wasn't. That's what I can't get over. You edit. it. I come in here expecting I don't know what. And lo and behold, your plates is as clean as a whistle almost. <clears throat> almost, yes. Your folks is just crazy. Ain't you got no sense of taste? No, we're just crazy. Gertrude, I'll tell you what happened. That salt must have leaked in after you served our three plates. Mrs. Brown, that's just what must have happened, so help me. And if that ain't lucky, honestly, Gertrude, you got more luck than brains, that's all I can say. I sure am relieved and happy. Well, we got three dishes out of it anyway, even though a full half freezer's full got to go to waste. <laughs> oh, unless Bluff could eat it. Even a dog could eat ice cream. Uh, some dogs, Gertrude, but but uh, not Great Danes. No, no, never a Great Dane. No, they're they, too manly. You they don't like his ice feelings cream. if you asked him to. Besides, I'm pretty sure it'll make him ill at this point. Shh. Well, I guess maybe you're right. Well, too bad. I hate wasting things. All that good cream and fresh strawberries, but lordy, lordy, I sure am grateful and thankful that... That salt got in afterwards and not before. Leastways, you had yourselves a good help in a homemade ice cream. I'll go get your coffee now. We'll never get to heaven. Don't you believe it. Some lies, some lies, mind you, are quite all right. And this one was. Oh, she'd have been so unhappy. <laughs> Can you imagine? The dog is thirsty. Here, Bluff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Dum 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 la 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 Do you want a suggestion for making your ironing pleasanter? Turn on the radio and get yourself an ice cold bottle of Coca Cola. Coke, while you're ironing, is mighty refreshing, and it makes warm tasks cooler and pleasanter. Same's true for any household chores that take it out of you. You're your own boss, and you might as well work refreshed. I don't know, Mr. King. I just don't know. You don't know what? That ice cream. Pretty mysterious. One half salty, the other half not. Well, it was eaten and enjoyed. I can assure you of that. Well, I wouldn't trust that Mr. Norton when it comes to another person's feelings. He has too much heart to hurt anybody if he can help it. Well, that's a good way to be. And all that heart is going to stand David in good stead tomorrow. Always will. Why, especially tomorrow. Remember the schoolhouse David's been asked to build in Eastbrook? Sure, I remember. Well, it's going to be designed with heart and and built with spirit and wisdom. Sounds like a good building to last a good while. I'll be here tomorrow because Gertrude sure wants to hear about it. So long, Mr. King. So long, Gertrude. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>